Welcome back everyone for another product review. We're going to be looking at the Klingon Bird of Prey. I got two versions of this. I got an older kit and I got a newer version of the kit. So, well, you know, I'll be building both. I don't know if I'm going to do both at the same time. Probably so. Um, but I got, you know, lighting kits. You know, I'm probably going to make something up for it. It's not a overly elaborate lighting, just windows and the engines. Um, I was going to get some 3D par uh, uh, photo etch parts. Not 3D printed, but photo etch parts. Some of the 3D uh, pr um, photo etch parts come with 3D printed parts or resin parts. Uh, I'm still not sure. I might do it with 4 to 1. Not sure if I'm going to do it for the other. I think the the newer one, I'm probably going to get the, the photo etch kit for it, and then I'll probably do a you know product review on that when I do get it. It's going to be a bit before I get this kit, so I've been actually waiting you know, to find a decent price. Yeah, Green Strawberries is probably who I'm going to order the photo etch from, and you know, it's been uh, out of stock everywhere for a while. The, the bigger photo etch kit, they give you a couple, I think like two options. One just comes with the basic photo etch, the other one does come with the resin parts as well. And I think you can even just get the resin parts, but I have, I've been up in the air on if I want to actually get those parts. One I'm going to do flying, I think I'm going to do the older version flying, and then the newer version it has uh, die cast landing gear. So I might have that, build a nice base, you know, kind of diorama of it landed with landing lights in like a circle and have it landed with its wings up. Um, the one that's flying, I'm not sure what position the wings I'll have it in, whether it's an attack or cruise mode. You got three different modes to put the wings in. But uh, let's go over to bench and take a look. All right, welcome back to another unboxings. Um, this is going to be my Klingon Bird of Prey builds. I have the newer version from AMT, which is I'm sure part of the round two thing. Yeah. Um, this newer version I think has some newer tooling um, but pretty much the basics I think one of the other big things is you know you're gonna have your round base um, you got a die cast legs for stronger support if you, you're having her in landing mode which this version here I'm gonna do in the landing mode to take advantage of that landing gear and that way I can have that hatch down and do that hole where from the movies where it's landed on the ground and I might do a circle of, like spotlights to show you know so I'm gonna do a diorama on this one so she'll have her wings propped up and you got cruise mode you, got, you can build the landing cruise or attack mode and I know you can get 3d a third-party parts to, to I think be able to make them just actually move instead of being stuck in those three positions um, but like yeah you got your cruise mode and your attack mode and so the other one I'll probably have I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the wings down or more in that uh, cr I think that's the cruise mode when they're straight out and the attack modes when they brings them all the way down I'm not sure but I think that's how it is which would make sense because up would be landed and as she gets up and flies she would go to that mode and then attack brings them in tight so I think I might have it more in a cruising flying mode than with them all the way down. But I kind of like that look of her flying. You can kind of see underneath it. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but a very nice kit. They are 1350s. Or I think they're technically a 650. They're calling us on a 350, and then the older box says 650. But I think they are more considered a 650 scale than a 350, because these are exactly the same. We open this new one. Mold it in a nice green. Maybe we should start with the old one. Let's do that. This is a very cool uh, box art on this one. Uh, this one was done in, you know, basic art in 95. 
this one's molded in a off-white light gray. Everything's in there. There's a arm thing. It's a nice size ship and it's a cool looking ship. So I'm not gonna fully unwrap this because like I said I'm, I'm pulling things out of the bags so if you have any small parts you can fall out and get in these cardboard things and then you lose them when you put them on the shelves until you build them. Here's your clear parts which is really gonna be the the, the photon torpedo launcher slash whatever deflector I'm not sure about the anatomy of this ship if that's considered a but I think uh, yeah that's a photon torpedo emitter and a shield so it does both and that's cool that they tell you what some of the things are clothing generator warp drive generator so this kind of is like your warp drive generator slash impulse engine so but yeah you can see she's a healthy size ship if you can you know that's from there to there so she's gonna be pretty decent but if we uh and there's my old probably extremely brittle decals for it but there ain't much to it i'll look at the new one and see if they added more yeah there's a blemish there but that's okay because it can look like battle damage i can make that work or if i can see if there's somebody that can uh upgrade it this one's going to have that old boomerang stand um i think these are, i ordered uh resin klingon symbol stands so especially for this one and for the uh I think I'm going to use the other one on the uh, battle cruiser. Yeah, because that's the only because the other one's going to be landed. So yeah, the other one's going to go on the battle cruiser. So we won't be using that stand. But that's basically it. She's going to be a nice size ship. Here's your instructions. Here's your, you know, color guide. I, I love these shades of gray that you're supposed to, you know, be able to. Okay, is it? Okay, I can see that's some dark, but which one of these light shades of gray is that? <laughs> you know, good thing they do label some of them, but you know, yeah, they're saying that this the zinc, the green zinc. And if I look at the green zinc, that shade does not. It looks like the flat red shade of gray. But they do give you, you know, what all the bird markings. There's not a lot of decals. There's one on that wing. Where's that symbol go that I saw that was damaged? Where do they go? That's not even showing me. Yeah, it gives you how to the warp drive housing detail, how to paint that up. Just gonna be fun. Uh, yeah, it showed me the decal for that, but I'm not seeing the decal for the Klingon symbol. Oh, there it is. It's on the guns. So yeah, that all that really cool. Yeah, cruise modes with the wings straight out. Attack modes with the wings down. Cloak mode was no ship at all. That's funny. They made it funny. That's pretty funny. Okay, they're showing you, you know, what pieces you need for the different modes. And does this one not do uh, landed mode? It only does cruise and attack. So good thing I'm having this one fly. But they show a picture of the ship from the front. You know, with the wings straight out, that's cruise mode. Both radio baffles are shown wings up. Then you got attack mode, assembly, both radar baffles as shown wings down. <laughs> and they show a picture of it with its wings down. And they show a picture with its wings. Let's do this right. 
All right, there's cruise mode with the wings up. There's attack mode with the wings down. And there's cloak mode. It's just a stand. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. Anyway, air, you know, someone was trying to throw some humor in their work, and I think that's commendable. If you can't have fun while you're doing what you're doing, then you're not doing the right thing. But yeah, there's your old school decal or instruction sheet. There's our old school decals. We'll make them work. I did it with the, the other old battle cruiser. So, and I just used those for the stand because I have new decals coming. But, oh yeah, and we wanted to show in comparison. Here's how they package theirs. As you can see, they're the exact same scale. So I don't know which box is, is telling the truth and which one is not. Because like I said, this older kit says it's a 650. The newer kit says it's a 350. I'm going to kind of lean towards the newer kit because I've seen a lot of oopies boopies with the scaling on the old kits. But as you can see, it's the exact same size. So just mold it in different plastic. Looks like it's all the same tooling. Yep. Because the decal, the detail's good on that. They did nothing wrong back in '95. This this ship looks great. All the detail looks great on it. I'm just seeing this little loopy thing here and trying to find that on. Since here they did separate bags and stuff. Here everything's together. Do they have that loopy? And that's with. Yeah, it's with the bottom hull. So it should be. Or she already popped off the, the sprue. If that's the point, it's down there. It is. Maybe that. There it is. Yeah, so they just. And here they just use more bags. There's your wings. All the added parts, um, even uh, the clear parts are exactly the same. A little frostier plastic. The old one's a little clearer. And then here's your add-on, your actual die-cast landing gear, which is cool on the new kit. And that's why I'm going to utilize that to have her land in and have the other one flying. I don't know why I got two of these. I know there was some either a mishap and I decided screw it let's build two or I thought there was gonna be a difference I don't know or I just this was just probably a good deal and I couldn't pass it up I like having some of the vintage kits just to, you know show them. but that's basically what that is um, batteries probably about the crap so, no photo etch, just pretty much that. So, I hope you come and stay and uh, hope you come back when we get the build series going. Uh, until then, happy modeling.